Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies and to my easy bow tutorial. I'll teach you how to create this beautiful bow for various occasions. Whether you're looking to add a finishing touch to a gift, decorate your home, or even create accessories, I've got you covered. So let's get started. Hi, welcome back to Holly Hobbies. Today we're gonna be doing a bow tutorial and this is going to be the style that I'm going to show you how to do today. It's a very simple bow and you can see how pretty those results are on that one. And I want to make just a little smaller version of this one uh, because I have a wreath that I need it to go on and I need it just a little bit smaller than that. So I already have my ribbon cut and this is you can use any size ribbon, but this is just going to be the same technique you'll use with any ribbon that you have. And basically you have one strip that's going to be about the length that you want for a tail. And of course I'm going to be cutting this down. Um, so this is going to be for the tail. And I have two pieces here and you're going to have one piece of your length you don't have to you know like measure it and be exact you just want one piece longer and a, one piece that's shorter on top so it looks like I have about an inch or inch and a half shorter on this other one and then you need another strip that you're going to use for this piece that's going to finish that middle so we have the longer one a shorter one and we have one for the tail and one for the inside so what we're gonna do is we're going to take our hot glue and we're going to glue these into tubes here okay so let me get my glue gun and a sing silicone fingertip and we're just going to put a little piece of glue right there at the edge and make a loop here. Okay, and then we're going to put that off to the side to dry and we just made one continuous loop here. And we're gonna do the same thing with this next smaller piece of ribbon. And going to get that one in there. All right, and there's our smaller loop. And for the last piece here, or this next piece, we're going to divide this into thirds and this doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be exact we're just going to make a little finishing piece here that we're going to finish that off in the middle there and you can make this as wide as you want and do another hot glue right there and we're gonna fold that over. All right. And there's our little finishing touch piece there. So now you're gonna take your next piece and you're just going to cut it. This is gonna be your tail. So if that's the length of your tail that you want, you're gonna double that up and you're going to have one big long piece, which is going to be our tail. And you're also going to need a chip clip or a clothespin, something that's going to hold our bundle together while we're letting that glue set. So we're going to take our larger ring and we're going to take the seam and push that right down in the middle there. And we're going to flip that over so the seam is on the bottom. And now we're gonna do that same thing with our next loop. We're gonna just push that right down in the middle and flipping it over on top of our other bow. All right, so now we're gonna pinch and pleat in the middle. 
and we're pinching and pleating that. We wanna make sure we're, there, we're in the center of that bow right there, okay? And now we're gonna take our finishing piece here, and this is what we're going to use to put across the middle here. So I'm going to take my glue, I'm holding that in the, so it's pleated in the center, gathered in the center there. I'm gonna put some hot glue and we're going to just hold this for a minute until that glue sets. And now we're going to do the other side and this is gonna be a little bit long, so we're gonna trim that down and I'm gonna put my glue right there, on, right below this other fold here. And you can hold it, or this is where you can use your chip clip to hold it while it's drying there. So we've made the first part of our bow, and we're letting that dry for just a minute, and now we're going to make our tail. And you want, this one is one-sided, so what we're gonna do is we're, then it's a lot longer than I need it. I will be cutting it down. We're gonna pinch and grab in the center and we're just gonna fold that in half. Okay, so we have that ribbon gathered and folded in half, just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little piece of hot glue right in the center here. And we're going to just squeeze that together. All right, and that is what our tail, and you can overlap it if you don't want it to spread out as much. That is up to you. And then we're going to be taking our, this should be set by now. And this is gonna go right on top. We're gonna glue this right like so. And then of course I'll be cutting this down. It's the tails are way too long. So now I'm gonna add some hot glue right here on the back. And I have my tails the way that I want, and now I'm just going to glue that right to the tail. And then I'm gonna use my chip clip here and use that to hold that together there. So there is our bow, and now what we're gonna do is we're going, I'm just gonna cut these at an angle Cut this off shorter. You could dovetail it. You can do it however that you want. And we'll take that off. And then it's up to you if you wanna leave it flat or you want to fluff up the, the loops a little bit. You can do that as well. And we'll just fluff those up just a tiny bit there. And there we have another cute bow. It's a smaller version is what I was trying to do. And there is a bigger version. And I hope you enjoyed this bow tutorial and that it helps you get more confident in your bows. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow me for more wreath and crafting ideas. Thanks for watching Holly Hobbies from my heart to yours.